Welcome to this edition of my Fireside Chat. This past fall, we celebrated the 90th birthday of Delta State University by using a series of programs that observed our accomplished history. As part of the continuing celebration, a number of student groups will come together on April 19th to repaint Delta State's Green Mile Fitness Trail, which weaves its way through our campus. The project is being led by members of the Dedicated Statesman Association. That's a group of retirees, alumni, and friends of Delta State who continue to stay involved with Delta State and assist with various activities. This group oversaw, for example, the restoration of the Alumni Plaza Clock as part of our 90th anniversary, and they will continue to identify and spearhead projects on our campus for the years ahead. The repainting of the Green Mile will kick off at the Alumni Plaza Clock next to the Student Union at 1.30 on April 19th with members of several different student groups, athletic teams, and Greek organizations competing in teams. The goal is to give new life to the Green Mile, which was created in 2010 to promote overall health and wellness at Delta State. The One Mile Trail enables walkers and joggers to start at any set of green footprints on campus and to follow the trail of footprints until they are back at their starting point, thus completing one mile of exercise. Joining me today is Dr. Gary Baus, Delta State's Chief Development Officer, who serves also as our liaison to the Dedicated Statesman Association. Gary, thanks for joining me today. Appreciate sure. you being here. Tell us a little, if you will, about the Dedicated uh, Statesman Association and their goals for the coming year. Well, the Dedicated Statesman Association was created in May of 2013, really as a way in which we could bring retired faculty and staff together with one goal in mind, and that was to promote the university. All of these individuals had been volunteering their time in different ways, but this was a way for us to bring about their collective efforts. And so we started with 12 individuals in that group, and we now have about 35 active members. Uh, this coming year, we're going to be helping with student recruitment events. We'll also be helping with the 91st anniversary planning for the university, as well as some other projects that are on the horizon in the coming year. For the Green Mile Project, um, how is it and why is it that we're involving students in that? What's the purpose here? Well, whenever we look back at this last year's 90th anniversary, we wanted to have something that was more of a service type project that we would hold on that afternoon. And um, in September, the Green Mile Project was all planned and of course we had to postpone things and postpone them until November. The weather did not allow for that type of project to be held in November, and so we have rescheduled it until April the 19th. But it will be an opportunity for students and student groups to be okay. directly involved in the um, anniversary celebration. Super. And this, I suppose, gives uh, the opportunity for the entire community, alumni, friends, uh, community members, to come in and be a part of an event if they choose, along with our students. That's correct. And in fact, a number of our um, community members have been involved with the project already by donating their time, their efforts, and also some contributions so that there is a zero cost associated with the Green Mile project. That is great. Well, Dr. James Robinson, as you know, was an inspiration for this organization. He and I talked just as I arrived on campus three years ago, and this was developed into a wonderful program. It's an opportunity, as you know, just for volunteers to come forth. Mm -hmm. uh, very little organization to it, but for faculty, staff to be involved, and, and uh, that is working out very well. Uh, tell our viewers how they can get involved, whether they're an alum, former staff or faculty, or just a friend of Dell State. How do they get involved? Who do they contact? Well, um, they can certainly contact me um, at, um, at our office at the Alumni Foundation, or they can contact Dr. James Robinson, uh, who is our president for this year. But we want to make sure that people realize that this, while this started off as a retiree faculty and staff organization, in the very first meeting in May of 2013, they voted to expand that membership to anybody who had an interest in Delta State University. If you're an alumnus of Delta State, we want for you to do that through the university's alumni association. But we have a lot of people who come to Delta State. They come to Cleveland. They become a part of the Delta State family, but they may not have graduated from here. And so the Dedicated Statesman Association is an excellent way for them to become more intimately and directly involved in the institution. That's great. Uh, once again, another way for us to express inclusion in the Delta State University community. Absolutely. Thank you for what you're doing. All right, thank Appreciate you. very much. So in summary, come out and join us for the Green Mile. That's going to be a great event put on campus 
uh, soon with our dedicated statesman association and for the student group that wins this is their great trophy a wonderful wooden trophy in other news on campus you know we are a campus with a great vision for music and culture nothing uh, means more to this campus than a lot of excitement and entertainment this week we have the delta state university jazz ensemble that's going to present a spring concert tonight at 7 30. 7 30 tomorrow night delta state's three choral groups will present carmina burana it's a cantata which uses the text of 24 medieval poems and rounding out three nights of music will be a free concert featuring the united states air force concert band that performance is set for seven o'clock wednesday night all three performances will take place in the Blown performing arts center and they're free for more information on these and all our other events on campus and other news that's happening at Delta State, please visit our website, deltastate.edu. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you the next time.